Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so now that we've done that first mission, we've saved the Admiral. Um, hmm, I wonder if I should talk to the crew real quick. Maybe I should. Teddy! I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Oh, okay, nothing new. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. What's that, um, what's that, uh, people often stereotype, uh, Americans, uh, by saying that we drink nothing but Coke, uh, but it's not true, we also drink Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it should probably stick with the Coke, the Pepsi, Pepsi sucks. <laughs> Pe Pepsi's the choice you make if, if they don't have Coke. It's, it's a, Shepherd Commander. it's, it's kind of a, a it's a measly substitute at best. Uh, the Reaper's mind. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You sound odd. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. Hmm. That's interesting. We'll talk later. We will remain here. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I believe in a two-soda system. <laughs> I will not stand for a one-soda dictatorship. <laughs> Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Oh, really? Let's check it out. My cousin Dorn. Uh, oh, Na Navtel uh, Vasgrahagult. Um, Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is gra uh, grateful you have returned um, our admirals to us. Uh, I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zal Cor Chorus stopped many vessels from flying uh, past the waiting guns of the Geth. The Admiral told me you met my cousin uh, Dorn Hast on uh, Rannoch. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. Yours most sincerely, Captain Navtel Vas uh, Griegelt. Uh, <laughs> Soda Papinski, this closet, <laughs> the closet drunk. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, maybe I'll take just a short time to quickly talk to some pe people in the crew. I don't think they have anything to say, but I'll check real quick. Man, watching the Geth fleet move is like thousands of stunt flyer formation. Creepy stunt flyers whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Hmm. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine procedure. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my chronometer <laughs> appropriately for better timing. <laughs> It's interesting that she's developing humor. <laughs> nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep us safe from the Geth and themselves. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. If it wasn't... I mean, if, if we weren't talking about AIs, then I would say, yeah, put the guns on it, because they, they, they need to have... They, you know, they need to have an offense at the very least, even if they don't have a defense. But... 
where if it means AIs would ignore them, yeah, it's better to disarm. Uh, okay, so, yeah, let's, wait, who else is on this floor? Uh, trainer, excuse me, uh, I already talked to Tally, <coughs> excuse me, Legion, sorry about that. Uh, specialist trainer, can I talk to you? Admiral Corish has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. Dad. Dad. Uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Oh, good Spirits. God. Please, watch over them. Let me see them again. Oh, man. I don't think I ever saw that before. Shit. Um... I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Not right now. Yeah, I get it. Uh, wait. Wait a minute. Javik is on this floor? Where is he? He's in the AI core. What's he doing here? Javik, what are you doing, dude? Let me see, let me see, let me see. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right do your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. <laughs> Nothing changes. That I think you. I, I think you're right, Javik. I think you're right, Goldcoin. Javik does not know the way. <laughs> Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. If, if you got to. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your <laughs> Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. <laughs> the one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. That sounds boring. I would prefer to be alone. <laughs> what the fuck would you... Staring contest, man, for hours? That's... Ugh. No thanks. Before I do the final Rannoch mission, I'm actually going to do the Geth Hub uh, server because that's an extremely interesting mission. Uh, it's a Geth Com Hub uh, shut down Geth server. This is a this is a really interesting mission, and I I kind of question the logic of it a little bit, but uh, because it's so awesome, I'm willing to look past it just a little bit. Um, I suppose it technically doesn't matter who I bring with me, but I'll bring Tally for sure because Geth related. 
And, um, oh, Edie, why the fuck not? <laughs> of course I'll bring Edie. Hmm. Not just a sexy robot, she's actually, she's actually got useful powers. She's a dangerous sexy robot. Moving on. Please don't ask me to put, okay, good. I was afraid it was going to ask me to put in the next disc. Oh my god, I, I remember the beginning of this playthrough. It was like every... Oh, it, was like, it was like every mission. It was getting me to switch the goddamn disc. Well, I think Nintendo Switch has it right. You know, putting it back on cartridges. I mean, cartridges can hold way more. Understood, Admiral Run. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile, yes, synthetics. How would that even work? I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I do trust you. Uh, you're asking for a lot. There'd be more trust if you told me about this plan back on the Normandy. We were still formulating, but your presence is necessary. The server security is not equipped to track an organic presence. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. This better work. This had better be worth flying straight through a war zone. We have compromised local gas systems. They will remain dormant until our work is complete. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... <laughs> Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, my crew, my squad mates aren't really going to have a lot to do on this mission. This is kind of a wacky mission, but it's really cool. Oh, excuse me again. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. This is, oh, I can't wait. This is, this is so cool. This is it? Yes, hostile get fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Wouldn't it make more sense to put Edie in it? Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Uh, 
<laughs> and what was that? Secret Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. <laughs> what is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of the server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. <laughs> you look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will receive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. Huh. Uh, how will this destroy ships? And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. Hmm. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. So I'm in this really establishing connection to access point. This form code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Wait, I still can't go down there. What am I missing? That's where I came from. Oh, now I can go down this way. Look at how cool this place is. I'm in a freaking, freaking robot world. <laughs> Warning: connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. How freaking cool would it be if this is what programming was really like? What else? Uh, okay, so I did that. Um, oh, now I can go up this way. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then thanks, I think. <laughs> it's so neat. Um... Uh, was it someone who takes? Was it the Matrix? As someone who's uh, taken a programming class or two, I can I can concur. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh. oh, close it up. Oh, and then this one. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.